Hello. My name's Dora Ivir. I'm 35 years old and I'm from Croatia. I live in the city of Dubrovnik in the south of Croatia. I'm an accountant and I work for a company that makes office furniture. I'm married. My husband, Rudolf, works in a hospital as a radiologist. We've got two children, a son and a daughter. In my free time, I play tennis, I do yoga and I go sailing with my family. I'm going to the shop now. We need some bread. Oh, I think the shop closes at four on Sundays. The director wants to talk to Katrine, but I don't know where she is. I believe she's having lunch at the moment. She usually goes for lunch at 1.30. I'm making a cup of coffee now. Do you want one? No, thanks. I don't like coffee. I prefer tea. Can I ask you a few questions, please? Uh, okay. What's your name? It's Charlie Bell. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a student. What are you studying? Biology. Are you using a computer at the moment? Yes, I am. What sort of computer are you using? A desktop or a laptop? A laptop. Hi. My name's Cindy Gaskell. My husband Ryan and I own this internet cafe. I'm British, but Ryan's Irish. We've got two children, Melanie and Russell. Melanie's a student at Manchester University, and Russell works in Spain for a holiday company. That's Ryan over there. He's talking to Jordan Morris. Jordan's Australian, and he's a computer engineer. Get hot. Get hungry. Get ready. Get dark. Get a letter. Get a new car. Get home. Get the bus. Get married. Get dressed. Get changed. Get lost. You look tired. Yes, well, I saw an advert on Friday for a jazz concert. I really wanted to see it. When was it? It was on Saturday afternoon. I tried to get a ticket on the internet, but there weren't any left. So what did you do? I went straight to the theater. I queued for six hours. Did you get a ticket? Yes, I did. I got the last one. Again, the milk fell on Jack's trousers, but this time he didn't shout. He smiled and said, It's okay. Accidents happen. Don't worry. He went upstairs and got changed. When he came down, Emily said, Bye, Daddy! kissed him and ran out to catch her bus. Jack didn't have to take her to school. He picked up his briefcase, kissed his wife, and they both left for work. He got to work early and he had a great day. Whose mobile is this? Is it yours, Gary? No, it isn't mine. Maybe it's Aisha's. No, it can't be. Hers is green. Wasn't Mick here earlier today? Oh, yes, he was. It must be his then. Who does that big car belong to? I think it belongs to our new neighbours. It's very big. A lot bigger than ours. Yes, but our flat's bigger than theirs. <laughs>
It's a ground floor flat. It's a first floor flat. It's spacious. It's convenient for the town center. It's in a quiet location. It's furnished. It's unfurnished. It's got a fitted kitchen. It's got air conditioning. It's got central heating. Cindy and Ryan are going to a party. The party's in a flat on the fifth floor of a block of flats. It's in an area that they don't know, so it took a long time to find it. Unfortunately, the lift is out of order, so now they're walking up the stairs. Cindy likes parties, but she isn't happy because she's wearing new shoes. She bought them in a shop near their cafe. They were the most expensive shoes in the shop, but they aren't very comfortable. Oh, there's a good view from the living room. What floor are we on here? The third floor. Well, what do you think? Well, it's in a quiet location. Yes, it certainly isn't noisy. It says it's close to local amenities, so I suppose it's convenient for the shops. But it isn't very convenient for the station. What about the flat itself? Well, it's in excellent condition, and it's furnished, so we won't need a lot of things. There's a fitted kitchen, too. It's too dark, and this is an expensive area, so rents are high. Yes. I'm sure we can find somewhere better for the money. Bless you. Oh dear. That's a shame. I can imagine. What a pity. Poor you. Danger. Dangerous. Fame. Famous. Humor. Humorous. Pain. Painful. Success. Successful. Beauty. Beautiful. Intelligence. Intelligent. Patience. Patient. Importance. Important. Anger. Angry. Luck. Lucky. Health. Healthy. Sorry to hear about your accident. Thanks, Raj. Have you taken the van to the garage? Yes, I have. But I haven't collected another van. It wasn't ready. Have you phoned the insurance company? Yes, I have. And I've downloaded the insurance form. But I haven't filled it in yet. I hate filling in forms. Me too. But I've written a report about the accident. Alain Robert likes skyscrapers. But he doesn't just like looking at them. He prefers climbing them. Last Friday, he was in Abu Dhabi, where he climbed up the Investment Authority building. It took him just 63 minutes to climb the 35 stories. The French Spider-Man, as he is called, 
has climbed some of the world's highest buildings, including the Empire State Building in New York and the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur. Alain has often been in trouble with the police, as he's usually breaking the law when he climbs things. He's been in prison in several countries. When he reached the top of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, the police were waiting for him and arrested him. He doesn't use any ropes or safety nets, and he doesn't wear a helmet. He just uses his own hands and feet. I'm not really interested in the fame, but I like the danger, he says. I gamble with my life. So far, I've been lucky, but I know that one day I'll lose.